Hey everyone, how's it going? So, one of my most popular videos here on YouTube is the drawing of Godzilla breathing fire into the air. So, I thought I would try and recreate this video using the Mecha Godzilla from the new Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. So, if you guys are liking these videos, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you can always get an alert whenever we post a new video here at Artland. But thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our Mecha Godzilla Atomic Blast, we're going to begin with the head. So, I'm going to start right up here, and I just want to start by making a little line that's just going to go up, then it's going to come down like this. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go over, and that's going to connect to here. Right here, we're going to make lines that's going to go over and then up. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up. It's going to come down. We're going to go over and then up here for the nose. We'll add a little line that goes up and then back over. Starting here, we're going to make a line that comes down. We'll go out a little bit, and then we're going to bring it back up to here. We'll make a little rectangle shape here and another one here inside of there. We'll also make a little line that goes down and then up. And a little curved line in here with another little line. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, or over, I should say, and we're going to come out here, we're going to go down, then we're going to come back, and come up to here. Then we'll make two more little kind of rectangle shapes in there for the teeth. Right here, I'm going to make a line that goes down. It's going to go over and up. Then I'll make another one here. It goes down, over, and up. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, and that's going to come over. I'm going to make a line that goes down, and it's going to come over. And I'll put a couple little lines in here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come down, it's going to go up, and it's going to come up to here. Then starting here, we're making another line that's going to go down, it's going to go over, up, and then over. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to go over at an angle, we're going to come up, and then back over here, kind of like a rectangle shape. I'm going to make another little rectangle shape right here. Then we'll make another line, it's going to go down, it's going to go over, and then up here. I'll make a little line, it's going to go down, over, and up. Then we'll make a line that's going to go down, we'll come straight down, and then over for one of the toes. We'll do the same thing here, we're going to go over, up, and then come up at an angle. Next we'll make a little line that comes in. Then I'll make a couple little square shapes, or rectangle shapes, right here. Make another line that goes out and then comes down and in. And we'll make another line right up here. So 
Starting here, I'm going to make a little half circle shape for the top of the shoulder. Then I'm going to make a rectangle shape that goes down, it's gonna go up, and then it's gonna connect back. I'll make a little line that comes across, and a little line that's gonna go down, over, and then up for another rectangle shape. Then I'll add two little curved lines in here for part of like the elbow. For the hand, I'm just going to make a little line that curves down, kind of like a smiley face. And I'll make two little lines that come out on each side. Then I'll make two more here that are connected. I'll make a little rectangle shape at the end of each one. And a little point at the end here. I'll make a couple little rectangle shapes here and a little line that goes up. It's going to go in, up, and then back in like that. I'll make a couple more longer rectangles on the top. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that comes down at a curve. Make a line that goes down and then in, and another one here. Next, I'll draw a line that comes down. And then I'll curve this up. I'm going to come in here and add a few little curved lines for part of the body. Right here, I'll add a couple little kind of rectangle shapes. And a little line is going to go over, it's going to go down, and then come over to here. Next, I'll add a couple more little curved lines here. And a couple more little lines that go down and over. Now, for the tail, let's start off by making a line that's going to go down. We're going to come up like this. I'm going to come over a little bit. And then we're going to go down and bring it right up to here. You can see it's a lot bigger up here and a lot skinnier down here. Now, starting here at the end, let's make a little rectangle shape. Then we'll make a little line that goes up. It's going to come to a point and then down. I like to start here and make another little line that's going to come right along the length of the tail. Then I want to come in here and add some different little lines all the way down. So we're just going to add lines coming all the way down our Mechagodzilla tail. And I'll add a little rectangle shape on here. Now up here at the top, I'm going to add a line that goes up. It's going to come over, or down, and then in. And then now I want to come in here and add the different spikes. The spikes are going to be mostly the same. They're going to go out like this, they'll come down, and then back in. Now the trickiest part is going to be drawing around the body, so we'll make a couple spikes there. We won't really see many here. We can make a couple that just kind of poke out a little bit. Then we'll do another one here. We're going to go out, we're going to go down, and then we'll come in. Now we're going to just continue making these spikes down the tail. We will make these a little bit smaller as they come down. So we're just going to go up, over, and down. And we'll just make these a little bit tinier as we get to the end. I'm going to go and add a small rectangle onto the right side of each one of these. Some of them we won't see like up here. We can do it a little bit on some. But on the rest of these, we're just gonna make a little small rectangle on the right side. Now 
Now here's our basic shape of our Mechagodzilla shooting his atomic blast. We just want to come in here and add a few little extra details. Now up here on the neck, let's draw a little line that goes down and over. We'll do that twice. Make a little line that goes up and in. And I'll add a little oval shape with a line in it over here. I'll make a little line that goes out. It's gonna come down and in. We'll add a couple more little lines here. Little line that goes down and over, and we'll add a couple little curved lines up here. I'm gonna make two lines that come down, a little line that goes up, over, and down. We'll add a couple lines across. I'm gonna put a little X in between each one of these. Down here, I'll make a line that goes over and down. I'm gonna put a line and then some little plus signs in there. I'll make a little line that goes up and over back here on these three lines. I'll make a little rectangle shape here. And we'll make two lines that come down. And I'll make two more lines in here. I'll add some more of these little X shapes in here. And a couple bumps to show where there might be like some tubes and different things running through there. Make a little line that goes down, a little line across. And I'll add some lines where the toes are gonna be kind of separated. I'll also make a line up here that's gonna go up like this. And we'll add another little line on there. I'm also going to make some little rectangle shapes onto the sides of all these different tail segments. So we're just going to add some little ones all along here. I'm going to add some little square shapes on here as well. Just right at the bottom, just for a little bit of detail. And there you go, there is your drawing of Mechagodzilla shooting his atomic blast. Now you can always come in here and add some different details and things like that. And I'm not going to draw the atomic blast because I actually want to do this with my marker. But when I do this, I'm going to start with some dark colors on the outside, like some dark reds, and then go with some lighter ones as they move in. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.